boy! Another chaos pack! Gee, I really hope we find some Ixalan inside of here! That'd be so cool! Uh, I wonder. You think we're gonna find Ixalan inside of there? It only has it on the freaking box, dummy! Oh, why you gotta be so mean all the time? Why you gotta be so ugly? Oh, that was like a supreme backflip! I think we just made a mess! Okay, okay. Enough of the shenanigans. Enough of the shenanigans. I need a knife. I need a knife to open this. A pen will not suffice. Hey, I did buy a trash can. I'll let you guys know I went out, purchased a big old trash can. I sure did. I'd show you a video of it, but I think that's kind of a boring video. Uh, but yeah, well, you know. You guys see these playmats in the background? If anyone's feeling crazy and wants to send me a playmat, uh, send it to the P.O. box. And I will gladly use it in the background of videos. Um, I'll leave the P.O. box information in the description of this video. But yeah, definitely, that'd be greatly appreciated. And your little, uh, your little playmat could be in the back of, uh, one of your YouTubers you watch. I don't know. I thought that'd be cool. Plus, it would help out the channel, man! Alright, we're not gonna- Oh, they already showed it. Is it are you serious? Another one? Are you freaking shooting me right now, man? Are you shooting me blanks, man? So we're going to discuss, really, is it worth it to purchase one of these? Uh, here is our promo. Athalia's Lancer. It wasn't even protected. It did not use protection. The centering is quite off. There's a little ding in the top right. So far, points are off right now for me. MJ Holdings produces these, not Watsy themselves. This is like a repackaged product. We have Conspiracy. Take the crown. That is something. Shadows over Anistrad. You can open some of those. Battle for Zendikar. Some people's favorite. We have Gate Crash. One of my favorite. Oh, look. It's an almond cat. Meow. Kitty scratch. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we have a Theros. There is no Ixalan in here. There is none. I told you, stupid! Oh my god, there is no Ixalan inside of here. As we all were thinking, there's gonna be- it's, it's, a, it's a chaos box! Why would there be no Ixalan? Unfreaking believable guys. I am at a loss for words. Kitty scratch! Alright, let's keep it going. We have the gate crash. I'll save that for last. That's probably the most valuable one in here. Theros or gate crash? Oh, if we get one of those dual lands though... That's where the doze at, man. That's where the dozel's at. We'll go like that. Is it worth it to buy one of these? I'm going to have to say yes and no. You know why I say yes and no? It's quite simple. Yes. Well, let's start with the no. No, it's not worth it to buy this, okay? This costs $19.98. And inside, we're going to get some commons. And we're going to get some uncommons. And we're going to get a rare. That's pretty cool artwork, though. But I, I say, it, uh, yes, it's okay. No, it's not worth it to buy it. The reason being is because you're getting six packs, which if you break that down with after tax, my tax, it's like 21 40 or something like that. And just off the top of my head, if I had to break it down, I'd just possess. Um, it's coming to like $3.40 some cents, $3.50 maybe, roughly, I'm guessing, Nimble Blade Kenra. That is our foil. Um, and that's just not worth it. I mean, this dual land, or not dual land, this, uh, full art land helps a little bit. That's like 15 cents. Put that on the books. Um, but no, it, it's, it's not worth it. Um, what Dispossessed does, I actually pulled a foil this once, um, or last week. Choose an artifact card, name Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the chosen name and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. Not too shabby. In modern, maybe. Maybe. Maybe in modern, you can see that. Um, at three dollars, let's say it's even three dollars fifty cents a pack, okay? A booster box is how much? So essentially you're paying for six packs, you're paying twenty-one bucks roughly, okay? For this six pack. A booster box, why is it so hard to open? A booster box, um, you're getting 36 packs, and the average standard booster box is about 80 to 85 bucks. If you do the math on that, you can purchase roughly 18, about 24 booster packs going this route. 
opposed to if you were to buy 36 for 85. So the answer, truthfully, is no. It's not worth it to buy it. We have a volatile Camaro. That looks pretty cool, though. Let's see what the heck this is about. Before you shuffle your deck to start the game, you may reveal this card from your from your deck and exile three or more creature cards you drafted that aren't in your deck. For deuce, choose a card at random you exiled with cards named Volatile Chimera. Volatile Chimera becomes a copy of that card and gains its ability. Yeah, the Conspiracy is just a different kind of format. I'm not really sure what to make of all that. Anyone play Conspiracy? <coughs> I know Watsy tried branching out and do it. <clears throat> Are they going to come out with a third conspiracy? That would be insane. I don't know. But yeah, overall, no, it's not worth it to buy this. But if you're just out and about, maybe you want to get it for someone as a gift, you know? Um, yeah, maybe the wife picks it up for you. That's a cute little thought. You know, or, or whatever. I mean, uh, maybe your buddy at school gets it for you, you know? Or, or you're just out at your good old Wally World. That's it? Whoa. It seems like there's a lot of stuff back here <laughs> for us just to be starting on commons. Um, or starting on the uncommons. But yeah, I mean, it could be a nice little gift or something, or uh, if you just are in the craving for some magic cards, then yeah, I can see this not being too shabby. Tamio's Journal. Tamio's. Tamio's? Tamio's. Lada Galata? Donatas? Legendary Artifact. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate, sacrifice three clues, search the library for a card, and put that card into your hand and shuffle your library. Not a bad card. I like that card, actually. Then we have a Dust Watch Recruiter. Ooh. What happened here? So we got two flip cards and a rare. So we got four. Did we get four uncommons in here? Holy crap. We got So we got four uncommons and two rares. That's freaking nuts. That's not supposed to happen. Um, and a zombie token. I knew something was weird about that. That is really cool, though. Not that, um, I mean, either of these are worth that much, but that's just not common to happen there, guys. That is uh, an anomaly right there. You just witnessed something special. We together have witnessed something special. That is amazing. Battle for Zendikar. Now, let's see what else we get inside of Battle for Zendikar. Now, so yes and no. I mean, really, it's worth it, but it's not worth it to buy this. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Oh, bam! Get the juices flowing and blowing. This is not a Planeswalker mystery bottle, but we just picked up a Planeswalker. Kiora, you little son of a ding-dong. We will freaking take you. And a dragon token. Haven't seen enough of those, have we? Let's see what this is all about. Kiora, Master of Depths. Plus one, untap up to one target creature and up to one target land. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or a land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. You get an emblem with. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have it fight target creature. Then put three 8-8 eight, eight blue octopus creature tokens on the battlefield. Might want to get some trample out for those octopussies. Know what I'm saying? Alrighty. Might want to make it a little more devastating. But uh, nonetheless, yes and no. That is weird how that came about. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? That is that is just something. Come on, come on. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme give what I want. Gimme a freaking dual land. Gimme a dual land. That's all I want. That's all I want. That's all we want, right? We want a dual land. We want a dual land. And he does not get it. Got the glaring spotlight and a forest, which will not suffice as a dual land. Creatures your opponents control with hexproof can be the target of spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. For three, sacrifice glaring spotlight. Creatures you control gain hexproof until end of turn and are unblockable this turn. So to better answer the question that many Magic the Gathering players have asked over the years, is it worth it to buy a Chaos Booster back bundle thing bobber without a freaking Excel on it? And I'm so mad. The answer is no. It is not worth it to buy one of these. Well, you might want to ask yourself right now, how about I ask it for you? Why are you buying it then, stupid? Well, because it makes for good content. That's why I'm purchasing it. Because it's something not everyone can purchase at their local store or whatever. Because these are usually sold at big box stores. And uh, that's the reason why, dummy. Now you know. Uh, Acolyte. Phalanx leader, Nilia's Emissary, Hero's Downfall. Nice freaking removal right there. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. That is solid. 
So overall, I mean, I did not get my money back, but that is typical. I don't think I've got my money back yet on one of these. But it is always fun to open various packs, and if you're the kind of person who likes to open various booster packs, why not get yourself one of these Chaos Bundles? I don't see a problem with it. Definitely support your LGS as well. It is a place I do frequent, little did you know. I usually go there for my singles. Now you know. All right, guys, as always, peace, love, and butter beans.